So here we are, let's have a look at the final meal of our day. This one's a quick one, it's delicious. You're not gonna believe how good it tastes for what we're gonna put in. Starting with our protein. A couple of options here. Cottage cheese, hold on, I'll explain. Or yogurt and our protein powder. Now what we're gonna do here is basically mix our cottage cheese or yogurt with our protein powder. These just give you two options. If you want something a little bit more flavorful, maybe you're not quite close to competition or photo shoot ready, go with the yogurt. If you want something as clean as you can, cottage cheese. A lot less sugar in there, it's a better source of protein, and it's got more of a casein protein in there, which is that slower release, slower digesting protein. This would be my preferred choice for nighttime, but we're gonna use our protein from yogurt. So, into this bowl, I'm gonna enter vanilla yogurt you can easily see how we can change up flavors and create very different dishes from the same technique i'm going to take a scoop of our beast protein dash of cinnamon again i wasn't kidding when i said i like peanut butter you know, providing you don't eat too much of it, it's a good source of protein and fats. So we're gonna use a heap teaspoon. Other types of fats as well to get the protein and fats in there. A flaxseed oil or something like this, a cold pressed udo oil. I love this, it's got this really kind of nutty flavor. It's great to mix in from everything from salads to oatmeal, smoothies, and something like this as well. Nighttime dessert. I'm gonna mix that all up. I've got a banana here as well. Sometimes I might slice that, place that on top as well. But bananas, fructose, sugar, we don't really want to be putting sugar into our body at nighttime. Berries on the other hand, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, much lower amount of sugar. So take a handful of those if you want, sprinkle them on top, or some seeds, or some ground up or raw nuts. Again, possibilities are literally endless. You know what, we're gonna plate this and let it sit in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes, harden up a little bit. I gotta do it, I gotta finish it off. That's that protein flavor. The peanut butter as well. Ah, oh, delicious. Okay, here we are with 2,700 calories worth of food spread over about six meals. So here we've got about 270 grams of protein all in, about 230 grams of carbs and 75 grams of fat, which is a macro breakdown of 40% protein from those 2,700 calories. 35% coming from carbohydrates and 25% coming from fat. That's a really good balance for maintenance, allowing you to train hard, recover, and get enough calories in for lean muscle mass without putting on body fat. You wanna find out more about these recipes and stay tuned for more alternative recipes that we'll be looking at in the kitchen over the coming weeks and months. Find out all of that and more at bsports.com. Just search my name or follow me on Instagram, Rob Riches Fitness and Beast Sports Nutrition to discover more training tips, nutrition, and of course supplementation. I'm Rob Riches. I see you back here in the kitchen and the gym real soon. And hey, if you've got any ideas, suggestions, or questions, comment on the video, comment on all of my social media. Until then, keep training hard, stay motivated. And remember, this is a journey. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We're in it for the long haul. So make sure you take your time and enjoy every step of the way. I'll see you guys back here soon. Take care. See you then.